Hi guys, how are you doing today? I hope everybody's well. Uh, one way that you can declutter is by using up something, like making something is one way to declutter. And I had this extra basket of scraps after I had already figured out how much I could fit on my shelf. So I am going to do some random scrapping, like, you know, cover, cover some pages. And I mean, cover some, what is this called? Mailers with the, um, with some scraps and make some covers with it. I don't need that. So that might bring you along for the ride. Welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media. And the misadventure today, or the who knows what's going to happen today, is I'm just putting random scraps down. I'm not even going to look. You're probably wondering how. How how are you going to do this and have it look good? Well, that's the thing. Maybe it won't. <laughs> and, you know, but maybe it will. I don't know. So I have this cute little ruffle. I can't remember who that came from. Or if I made it, that's a possibility. Um, but that would be more of a... I need to be able to... Um, I'm going to hold on to that for a second because it'll need to go under something. Just I'm trying. What is this? This is... Oh, these are some pieces I already made. Oh, I could also do something like this. Which could become tags, fabric flips, or even like a, a cover piece from a journal. So I could even just make some backgrounds like that with the with the um things i forgot about those they just i well i probably remembered about them but didn't know where i put them and guess what this is where i put them so those are fun i don't think i ever showed you so i stamped on some fabric and then so should i do that should i show you guys how i made these we'll do a cover and then maybe i'll do one of those or maybe i'll stop halfway through and do one because you just never know with me so that's what these all are. See this one I did a little slanted. So it could go like this or it could go like that or it could, you know, however you want. Got a strawberry one and another strawberry one with some denim and a little birdie. It's a bird on a branch, not a, oh shoot, not a bassinet. <laughs> Uh, my friend's mom, my mom's friend, both things. She uh, she thought it was a bassinet, bless her heart. She's so sweet. So those I made some time ago. Never showed them to you, I don't think. Never showed you how I made them. I had also made a bunch of ruffles. So we'll put the ruffles to the side because they're actually kind of something finished and can go some. They can go in my other cart. Yeah, I did a bunch of stuff one time without you guys. Because I don't know why. I don't remember exactly why. Oh my word, what is this? Oh, I just uh, had sewn through to make tabs. Oh, I made a bunch of tabs one time. So I just uh, stitched along. What is this one? And then a fabric flip, apparently, as well. And more tabs. And another fabric flip. And so I just chain stitched them. That's just where you don't cut off. And I just haven't cut them yet. So that also can go, these are all finished ephemera. Okay, I, I don't have to use as much in here as I thought because there's some finished ephemera in here. It's just in the wrong place. So, fin or finished, uh, you know, embellishment pieces. And this, I might be able to use that some. That's something I got from Kim. All right, see. This is this part of the shirt. Which part of the shirt is it? That's a good question. It's, oh, did I sew that? I sewed that. Um, yeah, I don't know what my intention was for it. It would be a good finishing edge on a um, journal cover because it's finished on the edge a little bit. I don't know. Uh, I mean, we can do that. It's it's doesn't match exactly, but it's not terrible either. So I'm just using some glue stick to attach these on to... Yeah, I know. I did it one way and then I did it another way. 
that's all fine. I don't know why I have all these strips. Oh, I, that's right. I'm probably going to make ruffles with them, right? This actually could be a tie on a journal. It's pretty long. We'll put that to the side. This one, I don't know that it, well, it actually could be a closure, um, but just one that, um, well, part of a closure. I don't know. We'll put these strips to the side. I don't know what I was thinking with them. There's another long strip, which I could go ahead and sew, and it could be a closure because it's nice and long. Okay, and there's another ruffle. So yeah, sometimes I've got random things in my box. There's another strip. What was I planning with all these dang strips? I don't know. But some of them are going to go on this journal cover because why not? And this is the glue is just to hold them on until I sew them down. And I'll do the fun way of sewing things down that I do, which is kind of random. Make sure I catch everything. See, that would make a nice little ruffle. I think I must have got tired of making ruffles that day. There's another ruffle. And then sometimes I just have strips that I have to use. Um, so that goes with the strips. This is a nice strip. Actually, I might use that, do something with that on my gel plate. We'll see. But here's a random little bit that will just stick on here. And then look, more tabs, like big giant duck cloth, canvas duck cloth stuff tabs. Because when, when won't you need those? All right. I have a big length of... See, I have some of this already in my stash, and I don't really need to keep it. So I might just go ahead and put that in the donate box. And I have an Osnaberg, which I'm going to save out pieces of this because I want to do something on my gel plate. I think with some uh, fabrics, more ruffle, some lace. I do have room in my laces that I could put those. Okay, we got another strip. This one is a little wonky, but I have an idea for wonky stuff like that. So, and here I have just the salvage part. But I don't, I just don't know why I was saving it, but I was. Okay, another strip. Well, we're putting random strips on here, right? So, well, but it's also a strip. What was I planning with all these freaking strips? Does anybody know? I made all these strips for some purpose. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put the dogs in the donate. The puppies. And when you, oh, see, green is a nice. We'll stick that on there just because it's probably in most of the fabrics that I'm putting on here. So, and we might as well at least continue to some degree with this project. <laughs> Because why not? Get another little strip. I have a lot of this fabric and this fabric because I was going to make curtains and I never did. So now I have like a buttload of it. That is a technical term. Buttload. Just so you know. And I may end up cutting this cover down. I may keep it this big. We'll see. I'm going over the edge just a little bit so the bag doesn't show too much. All right, it's kind of long. I kind of want to use scraps so that I can just use up the piece and be done with it. That's the goal here. Like this piece right here, I can use and be done with it. Actually, it would probably be good on um, something with the stamping thing that I want to show you, but that's okay. It's just gonna go right there. Look at this, another strip. It is nice to have strips on hand, so some of these I might keep. Oh, look, a little double. I did a little double. You know the word. And then here's a little sewn strip here thing. Oh, see, so I was making some little snippets, clusters, whatever. They just need a focal point, I guess. More ruffle. Here we go. Piece of random. Something to put on the front here. What's more random than gears with flowers? I don't know, but it's got this green in it, which is kind of cool. 
Oh, more little finished pieces. And then we've got... I don't know how I feel about this piece because it's so... Um, I'm going to save that just for like a little sn snippet cluster thing. Oh my goodness, the strings. The strings are everywhere. This can be used for tab topper, so that will go in a place. This also can be used as a tab topper. More ruffle. So, it's nice to look in the boxes and baskets of things that you have sitting around to see what's actually in them instead of not knowing what's in them. Because <laughs> I did not know what was in them because it was just sitting up there. More tabs, more ruffle, a little piece of lace on it. There's a little piece with lace on it. Another ruffle with some lace, or not lace, but you know, the crocheted stuff. There's a zipper on that one because random. This one is just a strip left over, but it actually would make probably a cute tag topper. So this, oh, just plain white. That's going to go with gel plate stuff. And we'll just put this piece on here because we're trying to be random and not think too much about it. Does it match perfectly? No. Do we care? We are going to choose to not care today. Well, look, tissue paper, because that belongs in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, more strip. A receipt from Ranger, in case you're wondering. All right, here's a little blue piece. It's actually got the seam on it still. So it would be nice on the edge, since it does have the finished edge. If I can get it, I'll have to put something in the middle there, I guess, in between these two pieces, which I can slip right under there. All right, we've got some more green here. Nice long strip of it. Not that I have to keep it as a strip. I could just... I had scissors once. Once there once was a lady who had some scissors. They felt they were on her desk and they got lost. Um been down any rabbit holes lately <laughs> actually I haven't heard that one in a while but for a while that was a pretty popular tune on the TikToks. all right this can go probably with the fabric it's some Tim Holtz it's a bigger piece and I think I have room in there and here's what is this I think it gets bigger and bigger as it goes on so I don't know why exactly I'm saving it but gonna put it with my strips over here then we have a collar from a shirt which may or may not make a good closure because it's got so that's what I'm saving, saving it for I guess some more lace more lace embellishment type stuff oh all right I would use this but I don't want to become Christmassy that's the problem that is the only reason I'm not using that um, I know I was going to be super random. All right, here's some strips I can use on my gel plate. Here's some more strips, some more strips. This will, um, I'm going to use my gel plate too because it may leave a fun pattern. That's just like the, the boxing stuff. <sighs> purple. Ugh, are you going to make me put purple on here? It's supposed to be random, right? All right, it's going to be random. Although, this, some of these would be good for pieces on the other bit. But for right now, it's going to go right on the edge here. I'm on the edge of glory. Do, 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 do. How do you guys not sing that every time you hear the words, the edge? Maybe you don't know that song, then, then you wouldn't. Of course you wouldn't if you don't know it. Okay, these are some stamp pieces that I did that I haven't done anything with. Ah. Do I want, oh, see, this is a deer, I believe. Oh, this is Christmas. Speaking of Christmas, we could totally do that on there with that. Then we have some coffee, which I could cut down to smaller bits for, um, or I could leave big like that. And then here is 
a bird. Apparently, I colored these. Um, see, this might be nice. What in the world? Huh. This might be nice right on this. So, um, I mean, obviously stamping on fabric, it's pretty simple. I usually use a platform when I'm stamping on fabric so I could do it a few times. Can't remember if I used it for these or not. I, they might have come out darker if I had. All right, and then rip off that bottom bit. And then I might want a, it's got a little bit of pinkish red here and some blue. So, ooh, ooh, maybe one of my favorites, which I had a strip up here, where'd it go? Shouldn't be that hard to find the strip that I just had in my hand. See, told you it would just be randomness. Did I tell you? I don't know. If you've watched me for a while, you know randomness happens. Also, that's. No. I want that strip that I just had of the. Ooh, one of these might be nice too. Where's one? I had them. Here they are. There's one. That might be kind of nice on there. And then, can you even see what I'm doing? Probably not, because there's so much stuff going on right now. Here, I'll do this for a second. So that you can see what the heck this lady's doing. Oh yeah, this would be a nice piece to use on the gel plate, this white one. Get it all fancy dancy. Don't get fancy, just get dancy. Why so serious? What did I move? Just the um. This was the, the blue piece that I was thinking of. If I have enough. I mean, if it's. We'll see. Might not be quite wide enough, but if it is something that I like, I can go back and get a bigger piece but it's one of my favorites and then i can put a little piece of something under here and then when i sew it i just kind of sew around the edge here and it brings all the fabric together my sewing machine brings all the fabrics to the yard that's never mind let's not do that um which way this way just doing that right in the middle. Actually, if it covers there, even better. But for right now, because I might hand sew that on. I'll see, that's good for tag toppers, that little skinny bit. Um, I don't really, well, see, this would be, see, there's a small pattern, a medium pattern, and another medium pattern. But it actually might work only because, see how this one's close together and this one has space between it? It actually maybe could work. Or, let me see. What else have we got in here? Something. Ah! Sorry, the basket's getting tippy. It's it's a little drunk. See, there's one there. So I got more. I really need to use these on some journal covers. Guess it's going to be time to make some journals and journal covers, isn't it? That was, I don't know what that was, but journal toppers. More. See, I could even do like a ruffle on one of those if I wanted to. More ruffles. More ruffles. Another snippet. Another snippet. Well, it did little tic tac toe boxes on the flowers. That actually could be cute there, and because we have the blue, it doesn't make it Christmassy. Um, I'm looking to see if I have a stripe or a, or a um. Is that close enough to that green? just for something but this is you know the thing but if you do it right you could probably make it a closure on a journal like this that's why I keep stuff like that more strip more Tim Holtz fabric I've got room in the box for that 
some um, more white pieces that I want to use on the gel plate. So gel plate play may be coming soon. More ruffles. Did you guys know I made all this stuff? I had totally forgotten. More strips. Let's see. The quilt piece. Another ruffle. Um, there's another strip. I'm actually gonna let that one go. I don't, don't love, love, love it, but that's okay. A little bit of strawberry to that. That would make a tab topper. Let's see, another strip, more ruffles, more little tabby kind of things. That's not the right green anyway. Um, another strip, but I don't love it, so it's going over there. Another piece of this, you know, it wraps around your hand when you're boxing kind of deal. I um, don't think I'm going to, can't think of anything I'm going to use Buffalo Check for, but Buffalo Check is special because I think when my grandma and grandpa first met, my grandpa was wearing a Buffalo Check shirt. Now, I have this because I was thinking of making some closures that were relaxed, elastic band. I need to make those. That needs to, I'm going to put that as a reminder. And there's my fray check, which I might need. Here's a flower, which I don't hate right there, actually. And that would cover that empty spot right there. That might be it. I just was looking for something to cover that empty spot. Here's a piece of lace from my wedding dress. You can mix white lace and cream lace. They're both vintage lace. It doesn't really matter. That might be... I'm not sure if I like that on there, but... I think... I'm going to keep that with that. So that... Or it could go up there. Although the whole point of it down here was to cover that spot. But I don't hate it anywhere on here, really, probably. This is shiny. Oh, but what can I do if it's too shiny and it's just too shiny and I don't want it to be that shiny? What could I do? What could I do? What could I do? I thought of what I could do. Let's see, we've got the green. Crushed olive. No, let's start with old paper maybe. I'm not worried if I get this sturdy. Just need to tone down that bright, bright, shiny. I mean, it is vintage. I know it's vintage because I've been married 29 years and it was on my wedding dress. So it's definitely vintage, but it was definitely shiny. Some old paper. How do we feel about that? It's a little better. It still feels shiny, man. Where is, oh, I brought it with me, didn't I? Shabby shutters. Um, the um the other color I was looking for was um words words are hard peeled paint this one's shabby shutters I wish I well I can I'm just trying to say I wish I could get down into the things here which I could use there's probably a few different ways that I could but see that's better already. All right, um, let's just use one of these to kind of clip this so I don't forget to keep them together. All right, so there, once I sew that together, it will be a nice little journal topper. Journal topper, that's the words I wanted. So that will make a nice journal topper. Didn't I have some more of these? Oh, this one was gonna be Christmassy, potentially. Christmassy one with the deer. An antelope play that's not but anyway but I mean we could, actually we could just do this and then just sew it on there so that might be what I do let's just go ahead and although hold on I got more ideas here because we could stick a little piece of lace on there also we could poke out some other things um, 
So we'll put a little piece of this one on here. Maybe not that white one, but definitely that down here. And I was looking for some green that might work. Green stripe? No, I want a green. I'll have to look in my Christmassy kind of deals. You know what I mean? Do a little bit of this gold. Like, I could even do this. Like that. Just have a little that gold peeking out. I could even go like that. Something like that. Yes, I know I should iron it. I'm, I'm aware. <laughs> I'm totally aware that could use an iron. What's this? I think these are vintage scraps. Oh, wait, there's a little bit of Christmas. Oh, no, these are ones that I probably... No, wait, no, they're... I don't know, but this one I think is a little bit Christmassy. And could... It's red, and that's not red, but we could always switch it out for... Could always switch that background out if we like this red better. Well, because this is kind of more like this, so I think I like that better. But these are just little vintage scraps I have from something somewhere. They might have come from um <sighs> Shell. I had bought some vintage scraps from her. So they may be from her. See that one's pretty. So put those back in the bag for now. Just walk into my chaotic and a purple thing from Fly Lady to clean. I have several of those. Yet somehow the place is never clean. Nope, 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 nope. I was hoping for a little something green. Now, for like a wintry Christmas journal, some flannel is always nice. What was the other? Did I have something else under here? the coffee and then the other one was the bird which we already did something with okay well for now we got a little something all right I'm gonna fold this in half so that it stays together to some degree and clip it and then if I find a piece of green for it I'll put it on there if not it's not the end of the world a little bit more Osnaberg which I think I want to play with on the gel plate. More ruffles. More strips. So apparently mostly what was in this box was ruffles and strips. And some vintage bits from... From, um... Strips. Uh, that I used on the... the, on the it's just a little piece from... Uh, I made flowers on the, the cutting die cut. I cut flowers. Yep, yeah, that's the words. The words I'm trying to say. Yes, I just threw a piece away. It's okay. You can do that. You don't have to keep everything. I don't know. If I want to keep... I have I have this one. I don't know. Uh, this was from some fabric. Or I tore apart a canvas bag, I think. But I don't use this color pink. That's going in the giveaway. A little strip of that. Pink is really, the reason I have this pink is for my sister-in-law's journal, which has already been done and made. So that can go in the donate. That can be donated. Well, I think I'm gonna donate those. I'm not donating those, though, sorry. All right, here's a little, a little piece that can go on a snippet. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, I did have another, see, you were yelling. You were like, you do have another piece. Let's see. I kind of like that it's the bottom of the shirt, so it has that little edge down there. So, nice, fun, cute little journal topper, or even a fabric flip, would be to stamp a piece of muslin and then back it with some fabric. Yeah. I just, I can't keep everything. You guys realize that, right? No, you don't? Okay. Oh, see this, actually. You might even want to use that. Because the buttons are super cute. 
Those are the extra buttons that come. But I also don't want it to look Christmassy, so I'm not sure that I'd want to use the red and the green. Although it's got red and green in it, but I don't need that. Well, that has buttons on it too, but whatever. Oh, I don't need that either. Ah, don't need that. I do like to keep all right, more of the white. Um, I'm not going to keep that. Black and white polka dot. I've got enough of that, I think. Don't mind me and my... Isn't that pretty too? That could be on a journal topper as well. Or, I wonder if it would... Could I have enough of it show? No. This, this really needs to be all on its own, huh? That's a strip. That could be on a snippet or not. I don't know. All right, the basket's empty though. Ooh, be careful though, because there could be needles. I have a place for needles when I find them for on my desk. Okay, basket crumbs. Say goodbye to basket crumbs. All right. Well, I like these buttons on something, snippet of some something somewhere. I'll work on those later. This was from a quilt topper that I got. All right. Oh, look, the glue sitting there with no cover. That's fun. Alrighty now. Should we just randomly stick this on here? It's so wrinkled and so doesn't go. So we should definitely put it on there. <laughs> Why? I don't know why. Because I would just want to finish. I thought I had way more fabric in here than I did. So I thought for sure I'd be able to cover this um, with no problem. And then it wasn't quite so easy to do because a lot of it was finished ephemera or just strips. So when you think you know what's in a box, you might not. So look, as Dana K. White says, Look, look, always look. So, that's the lesson to be learned. Purple and the pink together, how much do we hate that? We're still going to do it. I don't love it, but I said I was going to be random. So, therefore, ooh, these are little pieces. I'm going to be random. There we go. These are like a good example of pattern. You got the small dots, the medium, and the larger. So even though the colors might not work great, the patterns work great together. <laughs> Just saying. I told you we would do a little clashiness. That we weren't going to stress over it. We might overthink it a bit, but would I be me if I didn't overthink it? just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit R-E-S-P-C-T because we can that's why the question in my head was why are we putting that there and the answer was because we can we're also trying, I don't like to line up my lines, so that has to go off to the edge a little bit. That's just a me thing. You can line up all the lines you want to if that is pleasing to your eye. We need a little something down here. Might be that, might not be that. Could even just be, oh, there's a little bit of script on that. Oh, that's nice. That's the other thing. If you've got like some Osnaberg or muslin or even just some plain fabric that has color, just stamp some script with some permanent ink. That will be fun. All right. This is a big piece over here. So I thought 
might go ahead and stick that right there. Also, you know what may be fun is, hold on, I've got an idea. You never know when I, an idea is going to hit. Oh my goodness, my eyeball. Let's see, let's go with something, let's, I don't know, let's go with anything. Not that, anything but that. <laughs> We do have a little bit of this on here, so this could work. All right, we're going to try it. You don't know what we're going to try? You haven't figured it out yet? All right, I do not love these labels. I'm thinking, because they get smushy, so I'm going to take off this gray part and hope that it doesn't get so smushy. And then... <sighs> of course, it's not going to come off smooth. Of course, I could just look in my bag and get one that's already been done. Or get one of my Signet stamp ones, which don't have as much of a problem with those. Because they don't have the... You know what would be faster? Hold on. I mean, i got to take them out and take care of them anyway. So, I might as well, might as well, go ahead and pull them out of my bag. All right. That's where my ink, black permanent ink was anyway. If I was smart, I would use my platform. But for now, we'll try it without. We will use some book page so that we have something sort of soft in the background. So the idea here, oh, that's cool, okay. You know, it would also help if I had my fabric scissors, but I don't, so. The idea here is to make little labels out of fabric that can go on the fabric cover. Because we can. And then you may be wondering, how am I going to pull this whole thing together? Well, I don't exactly know yet. But I will before long. Stuff may come out of the mixed media area. You just never know. You just wait and see. I mean, because that's what I have to do. I wait and see what the heck I'm going to do. Because I'm not exactly sure. So, I just kind of thought that might be fun. I'll make some more too, but... See, oh, I, I, I love it as a concept, though. I mean, I do. I absolutely. I love that. It brings this down here, but it gives it, like, a border, kind of. All right. Um, I need to take this bag apart. I hate when they do that. I'm like, what, they can't have a trash can next to them? To put that in, why do I have to deal with it? I don't understand. Don't mind my noise. So, I don't even know. There's, there's no direction on any of this, really. So, I could go any which way. Just fold it in half. Right now, it's giant. Will we keep it this giant? That is the question. Oh, we missed a spot. Also, do we want to keep this little flap here? Because it could just go over the... Well, it can't because I folded it in the wrong place for that. But that could be re-established. I think, though, I would put like a strip of just one strip here. But also a strip here, and then that would become a nice sturdy-ish type of wraparound thingamajig. <sighs> but what are you gonna put? Well, we're just being random, so let's just be random. I mean, that piece was the right width, and that was my whole. That's the whole reason I picked it, because it was the right width. No other reason. Okay. 
All right, and the other side, do something. It's already sticky, so we might as well stick something on there. In the middle can be different than the outside. This is a nice sturdy piece is what I'm thinking for this. Well, these would make fun labels though, wouldn't they though? Ticking. I don't know, do you wanna see me sew this? I don't know how well you can see see it be sewn. And then I also need a fabric piece here because this is going to get bent a lot. And so I want to make sure that there's something good and solid. And there's no black anywhere else. So let's go ahead and add some black in there because that's random. You could just strip the whole inside of this. Sometimes I do the inside after I sew it because otherwise, because it can be a mess. And then I can just kind of sew one big piece. Or, what if this is the middle? And we just, or, hmm. I don't know what I want to do. I'm half thinking about just doing strips all along here. Or maybe do that on another one. Hold on, I'm going to put this on the other end either way. I'm just, I'm just crazy. You didn't know that? Now you know that. I'm going to make more fabric labels to go on this. But they're going to be like an afterwards and I'll glue them on the fabric tag, I think. I think that's where I want to go with that. So, in case you were wondering what was happening, because I don't even know what's happening, really. That's crooked. I mean, that's not terribly that it's crooked, but... Alright, and I may have to let the glue dry anyway before I sew it, but it's just glue stick, so it's not like it'll take long. Next. Next, next, next. This doesn't match at all. Is it long enough? It is just long enough. I think, though, I might put it next to the black over here. Because apparently the theme of this is let's not match anything. Because this is the mood I'm in. It is hard when you've been away from videoing, you've been out of town. It is hard. I mean, it's hard even when I'm not videoing to just get back into the groove of things. But when you make videos, like, and that's kind of a hard thing to get back into as well. Is this piece long enough? And I'm just trying to use up some pieces. It's not quite long enough, but we can make it work. We'll just put a little piece on the bottom. To extend it because we can. Hey, do I want to use this? I mean, it does match that though. Do we want that to happen? Clashes with that though. Might be nice down the center. Well, you know what they say. Whatever. <laughs> do what you want. But I say a lot. People ask me questions over and over again. Should I do this? I'm like, well, I wouldn't. And again, do you think it's okay? I, I'm like, it's not something I would do. Like, someone gave us some cans of stuff and they expired in 2021. And personally, I'm not eating them. I told him he can do what he wants. Apparently, he needs someone to tell him what to do. That's not annoying at all. All right, well that, it's almost gonna cover it. Let's see. Put this down here. This glue stick's almost gone. In case you were wondering, if you were thinking it looked like it was almost gone, you would be, that needs to go higher, correct. 
Right, now I just need a little strip to go down the middle there. Ah! Well, I mean, we've got like a coral color and we've got this orange. Might as well put some of this orange over here maybe. It clashes nicely. But it's kind of wide. This one's a little bit more narrow. Is it long enough? Yep. Okay. Oops. Just trying to get enough glue on there so that it will stay where I put it. All right. Can always trim off the edge later. What do I want to put right here? Just a little bit of this goes the wrong direction. That's going to hurt my eyes. That piece. Oh, actually that kind of goes not terrible though. Do I want that? Or should we have anything like go across? Cause you know, just for interest and variety and just are you insane lady why would you put that there you know just for that reason I mean do we need another reason it's just kind of how I'm feeling right now just put that right across there it'll be fun it'll be fine everything's fine everything's gonna be just fine That glue stick is done. And there's glue all over my fingers. I know I need to put these away. I will, I will, after this. I semi-promise. I was thinking about maybe doing some of these flowers and then uh, on some muslin and then putting those on here maybe. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, do we want a piece that goes across? How crazy do we want to be? That crazy? Okay. We could be that crazy. I still don't know what's up and what's down on this thing, so time will tell. Now, I think the way I'm going to sew this is I'm going to... Oh, kind of want to do stripes going up and down but I don't know how that's going to look on the front so just might do some crazy stitching still don't even know which side I want is the outside and which of what I would want is the inside all right let me go get my sewing machine all right I didn't sew it with you sorry I had every intention to and then things I forgot to turn it on and then the thread broke and then I had to change the bobbin and then I thought it was on and then it wasn't on again and <laughs> I don't know so I just sewed it I sewed it super randomly um, I will I probably will cut most of the strings off and we'll see what it looks like but I still I may not be done um, right now it's kind of a crazy quilt and also you know where it folded up in places I'm not stressing about that like right here is because when you have fabric on both sides and it's not pinned down really good that's what's gonna happen so if you don't want your pieces to get folded over like this make sure they're attached well that's all I have. and then I also I had black thread and white bobbins and then I turned the thing over a time or two so that's why you've got some black and some white threads showing goodness that's a lot of thread right there oh that's the fabric and um which you know gives a little interest am I done no I got more I'm gonna do to this do I know what no I'm thinking some gesso we'll see gesso on fabric sure why not I mean, it's never going to come off. Have you ever got paint on your clothes? Has it ever come off? No, it doesn't come off. That's why I don't know why they make fabric paint. Because acrylic paint just does not come out of fabric. Don't know if using the fabric one 
I mean, if you're not going to, it's not going to be closed and you're not washing it, it won't matter anyway. So let me grab, well, first shirt. No, I don't know if I am ready to actually figure out which way is going to go. But right now, if this were the front, then this would fold over like this. But if this were the inside and this were the front, then that's what would show. So, I just gotta figure out which way I like best. It really doesn't matter one way or the other. I mean, see, look at this. Got a little bit, uh, I might just snip that a little bit just so it'll lay a little bit flatter. Obviously, I did not sew very close to the edge there. That's all right. Um, I could even make it like a super narrow journal and have that fold over like that much or it could even fold over on the inside or you can make it like a really <laughs> yeah uh let's see also we could fold it so that this goes to the back and that could be the front if yeah, i don't like that for the front i actually almost think i like the stripes for the front even though originally i thought this was going to be the front but it's not done yet, so who knows? Let me go find, find, no, I don't need to find my gesso. I know where my gesso is. It's not in there. I'm supposed to know. I always think I know where my gesso is. This is um, Prussian blue ink. There's a thought. We'll put it there. Put her there, put her there. All right, so we've got some gesso. Um, we've got our protection for our, well this was taped once I don't know am I moving you around sorry all right and the best way to do this may just be to use my fingers do I want to use my fingers I'm not really in the mood to be sticking my fingers in that let me get one of my rush rough big brushes all right I got a brayer too so this is a bigger brush that's a little more smooth this one's a little more rough and I've got the brayer I'm going to start with the, man, this gesso is thick. That's all right. I kind of got a lot on there just now. And I know you're thinking this is insane. Why would she do this? Or you're thinking, brilliant. I don't know. I don't know what you're thinking. But... I don't know. We're going to get a nice grungy look by the time we're done. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be May. A little bit here, a lot there. It's going to be... I mean, if there's some pieces I don't like, I could just cover extra. If there's some pieces I do like, I can leave it more open. If there's some pieces that need to get glued down a little better, guess what? There's some glue in gesso. <laughs> So, we could just kind of, now this is definitely going to affect the texture of the piece. It's not going to be all soft and smooth, pretty fabric. It's going to be a little crunchy. And that's all right. We don't mind. Or maybe we do. We'll find out. I don't love the purple. It's not my favorite. I like the flowers, but the purple, it's just, and the pink could be toned down a little bit too. The blues and greens, I mean, that's where I live, so. I live with the blues and greens. That's where my, and see now, this is a little bit messed up there. That's all right. Boy, this brush is, oh, we were gonna do a little bit of, we could do a little couple really thick spots here and there. Let's try the, the brayer and see what happens with that. Probably nothing because it's on fabric. Oh, see, that's one of my favorite pieces, but what did I do? I totally covered it up. That's all right. Like this here, I kind of want some good gesso in there because I think I'm going to ink around it and make it look nice and extra gringy where it's bent over. Okay. At least I didn't cover this one as much. At least not yet. I'm um, just putting some 
thick. This is just kind of, it kind of tones it, but it brings it back a little bit and whatnot. Should we try this brush? Get some different textures happening. Oh, that didn't do, although that does bring out the sewing a little bit, right? You probably can't see right here where I did the See, yep, I got fabric sitting right there. If Jesso got on it, it's not the end of the world. Could even just kind of. Okay, so that's one side. Fairly looks like uh, painter's pants, like really fancy decorated, fancy painter's pants, you know. Oh, yep, we're doing this side too. Don't worry. It's just fabric, it's just paper, it's just a journal cover. And it could be it could be awful, or it could end up being something really cool and fantastic. I don't know. What do you think? I'm sure someone's done this before. I'm sure I am not the first to put gesso on fabric, or even to use clashy fabrics. I'm sure I'm not the first to do that either just random just random i kind of like it a lot with the gesso i like that it's kind of giving it a little bit of uh, you know making it more of a background and and uh putting it giving it some interest i kind of want some extra white patches because i want to do some stenciling on that in case you're wondering what that's about um, where you see a lot of a lot of the gesso pretty sure I'm gonna do some stenciling there so I'm trying to space that out nicely as well so make sure I have enough white spots on the, oh, so the what this side's a lot lighter too and so like, you know, stenciling around there and even around here won't be too hard to do. Plus we've got the plane down there. Let's see, I might wanna do some, and then where pieces come together, that's where I would wanna do some stenciling as well because it would help connect those pieces. Does that make sense? Not sure if it makes sense or not, but that's how my brain works. Okay, so we've got like a place stencil there, 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 a little bit there, maybe a little down here, which where it folds to bring that over a little bit, maybe up along this way a little bit, and then most of my stenciling will probably all be one color and probably be like a, light, a brown and permanent brown. I'll probably use my coffee or my ground espresso archival. So now once I get this cover on, do you guys have this much trouble? Okay, it just doesn't want to go on straight. So, oh look, I put that away. It's like magic. Uh, my water cup is not out here because I haven't been at my desk. So I'm going to go wash this. I'm going to dry this and then I shall return. Okay, this should be dry because I went upstairs to eat my lunch and then spent like an hour or so up there just chatting with the people. The people being my husband and my father and a little bit of my son. He was there for a little bit. I thought that I would start with a little script here and there using an archival ink and just kind of uh, just here and there. Not even necessarily where I have the gesso thicker, but I thought it might help to you know it goes across several pieces that kind of make it feel more like cohesive that's the word I want I knew there was a word that I was trying to and I can go in two directions I don't have to keep going up and down I could totally go that way too it's all good in the neighborhood It's just nice to have some variety. 
and some interest and you can do this on fabric it doesn't have to be gessoed fabric um, but you know if you have kind of like a fabric that's a little bit more plain and you want to add something to it you can do that let's do some on the back too that makes sense we did some on the front we'll do some on the back do 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 it could be straight it could be crooked it doesn't matter i prefer straight and uh, with my writing i don't know why some people write crooked it's not that big a deal yeah, sometimes it just goes crooked whether you want it to or not oh see i tend to do you guys ever do that you just kind of tend to like do the same place with stamping and stuff so then you're like do it again you're like oh i already did there i'm just noticing <sighs> let's see so i thought i was gonna do brown but i think i want to do like this side actually i might do more brown stenciling maybe some blue i have the seafarer in archival what else do i have in archival crash i thought i have corn oh faded i do have faded jeans uh, I also have cobalt, which is like a darker blue, which would be like this blue. Um, what's this one? Fern green, but I also have peeled paint. And this one is, um, I know it says coffee, but I, got, for some reason, had two coffees, so one of them I use a re inker, a ground espresso re inker. I mean, the library green would work with some of these, but I don't think I want it. And then the reds, they kind of, um, what's the word? I use, I'll take out the vintage photo maybe just in case. The reds sometimes will, um, they don't, it, even though they're archival, they're, they're not as permanent all the time. Do I need to come out a little bit? Are we pretty much in most of it? I think we'll be all right. And then I'm just grabbing the stencils that I had brought with me on my trip. And, well, you know I like a damask whether it's grungy or not grungy. So, I might do that with this cobalt. Yeah, let's do some cobalt with the, with the uh, damask here. Now I've got too much stuff in my way. And it will show up fairly well on the gessoed parts. And I'm not doing it all the way to the edge. I'm just kind of doing it just kind of random. I like damask and I cannot lie. It's one of my favorite patterns. That and the swirly one, which a lot of people like. But I like the juxtaposition. Well, because you always often have the damask with like an old wall feel. So I do think of damask as more of a grungy type. You know, potentially grungy anyway. Type stencil and whatnot. And so this brings blue all over the place. And blue can be one of our bringing it together. And see, even if you don't have the gesso, it still could show up on the fabric. So that's fun. Let's see. Let's go to the other side. Apparently this is the direction we're going up and down now because for me, Damask does have a direction, so. Yep, you can get more ink. You don't have to try to use every speck of ink out of the, uh, out of the brush. It's okay. A little bit sad. I just found out that, um, one of our youth leaders growing up, her husband passed away this week, so. Feeling sad about that, sending her love and prayers, her and her daughters. So, he was 70. He died of cancer. But it's still sad. It's still hard. 
so let's see here so oh this is sticky this not so sticky but my stencil for some reason is a little bit sticky but that probably has something to do with something i did with it at some point get the blue over the pink flowers this works for me maybe a little bit up here i'm rough on my stencils that's just what it is all right so that one we've done and we've done some blue should we move on to some green we could use fern green or we could just go to brown because there's a lot of green in here so repeating the green won't be a bad thing but, and i think like if i do like the the numbers and stuff i'll want to do that in the brown so the swirl might be nice and green the swirl so we'll just kind of Let's see, that one's the peeled paint. The f they're just slightly different. I think I want the peeled paint. I mean, it's going to be a mix now, but... But anyway... So I see where the blue ended here, and that's kind of where I'm going to start. Is... And I'm just kind of going around that swirl. I'm not necessarily getting the whole stencil. But now we have this green going into that green which is fun. Where else do we want to put some of this in the middle here, maybe? And it's going to overlap in some places, and that's okay, too. Right here, it overlapped. Let's bring some of this I could use a new one of these, pretty sure, but that's okay. Got that green coming over into that turquoise too a little bit. Can't always tell it swirls, but that's okay too. It's just a little something here and there. I mean it is nice if you can tell it's a swirl. <laughs> if you can tell a little bit there. Okay. Do you want to go a little bit here? Some leaves or whatnot and turn it over and do the same thing oh, I don't have as much green over here a lot of orange over here I could could kind of focus on the orange but probably won't so I got some green there think some green oh we could turn this over yes you can turn your stencils over if you want your swirls to go a different direction so yeah I think I like where this is going we got the green there little pops of green bringing it from here over to there maybe you can do this that's a nice little leafy, swirly bit right there, as is this. A little bit there and there. I am rough on my stencils. I don't know if you can tell how hard I'm pressing on there or not. Let's see, I've got that up there. can't hardly see if anyone anything's coming out there or not. Well, it's green splotches, if nothing else. Even if I can't tell exactly what it is. All right, and then I was thinking, uh, let me, oh, the vintage photo I was maybe thinking, or I might want coffee, let's see. That's, that might work. Just kind of want to go over some of the white and tone it down a little bit with the uh, vintage photo. Could have used the coffee too. Doesn't matter. Get it on some of the fabrics too. 
and especially like on the edges of the fabrics to kind of dingy those up a little bit but not quite as much as coffee dyeing does I don't know I had some fabric that I coffee dyed and I was like so excited when I did it and then when I came back to it I was like eh, I don't want to use these it's a weird experience <laughs> I was like they just look dirty <laughs> I mean there's grungy and then there's what was I thinking And if there's anywhere that I want it to be more pronounced with the the, uh, the brown on the edge of the fabric, I can just go ahead and take my one of these and just kind of edge it right along, right along there and get it right on there. Just darken that right up so the edge shows a little bit more you know like that see there's still a little bit of white of the gesso shown but not much because I've I've uh, you know done that this one's this side's like really bright oh my goodness um, oh I do want to take like these bent parts and I definitely want to kind of um, Make those look a little bit more on the grungy side with some. Some ink. And also, do I have any other ones that were bent over quite a bit? Right here. Oh, that one I might need to glue down a little better because it's just sewn on that edge right there. But because it does lift up, be a little easier to ink up that corner. And there's another piece that's bent over. All right, so yeah, just adding. And I'm not pressing hard with this. I'm just pressing lightly just to tone down the white, basically. And I could have done this before I did the stamping. But it also helps to mute this, the, I mean the stenciling, but it can help to mute the stenciling too. All right, see this piece here is kind of, so when I get it wrinkled and I kind of go over it, now I have a nice line where the wrinkle is and I may want to come back in and glue it down a little bit better, but I like that there's that wrinkle thing happening there. That makes me, that makes me happy. I don't know what that's from. It's from something. Tone down the white. Nothing wrong with white. You can have all the nice white pretty things you want. I mean, white was a uh, strong color in the shabby chic movement. So, I mean, I don't know what you might use this kind of a journal cover for. You might use it for an art journal or or whatever and let's see let me tell you how it feels it it does not feel too crunchy it still bends nicely um, the gesso dried kind of uh, soft you could say maybe so still need to figure out which I want on the outside and which I want on the inside huh I mean I could even do like a giant journal and have it be like that but So that's it if we do it on the outside. I mean, we could do this on the inside too, which helps protect whatever's on the edge here, which is not a bad idea. So that's the front that way. And this would be if we did that in the back. See, now I don't like this as the front. Or if we did it this way, Nope, I think I like it now with this on the outside. Before, it was just kind of bright, a little too bright, maybe. So, I'm probably going to... I might do that on the inside. So, I'll put an eyelet here, maybe, to wrap around. And then this will protect pages in there. And what I'm trying to say, words are hard, is what I will probably do is um, do some collage pages in here. There'll be some pages that will be, you know, just different sizes and whatnot. So our template for this book for pages 
might be helpful to have something like so as you can see like if I did it this way it would fit nicely and then I would just need to add a page So this this would be for one one you know single page. What is this? Oh, and then of course you know you could stick a regular journal size page in there because you like some people like to have all the same sizes, some people like to have different sizes. I'm just pulling what is beside my desk for some random things. This was a collage page I did, and I think I must have used some of it. I do that sometimes. Sometimes I use my bits. See, so this might be nice if I glue that right here. And then I could fold this part in. Or I could cut it off. I have options. We got options. I think I am going to cut off that top bit. Well, you know, by cut off, I mean remove. So I kind of like that flower there so I could washi tape it on or I could glue it on there's nothing special happening here so I'm just gonna glue this piece on Ugh. I'm gonna take the cover off my glue like an old person that can't take their cover off their glue easily and I could even come back and sew it that would be fun I mean once it's totally dry it's got to be dry so I've got some more collage pages here that I have made and apparently I tried, tried to do some mark making. I'm not loving it. But this, ooh, that one goes that way. That one goes that way. Let's see. If I were to sew this on without gluing it all the way up, it would like still turn and that would turn. That could be interesting. Thing. I'm gonna do that so all right I'm gonna start a new video because I think we're already a pretty long video so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep working on this but I'm gonna start it in a new video and I'm just gonna put a line of glue right here so and I'll fix the glue before I come back so let me give you a close-up of the cover oh my goodness go on the cover it needs to go on let me give you a close-up of the cover real quick. So I think this was what's going to be on the inside. I reserve the right to add more. I've got Posca pens. I could add some mark making. Um, or whatever. Or, you know, whoever ends up with it could add their own mark making with Posca pens and whatnot. So there's the cover. And uh, in another video coming up, I will do the pages. Have a delightful day, guys. Love you.